Hey folks, so today I'm going to be welding some lockdown brackets on my Woodland Mills HM126 sawmill head. I bought the mill this summer, built the trailer, uh, pretty much had it built before I got the mill, I had the plans. Anywho, nothing fancy, I'm not hauling it down the highway, it's just to move around the property here. So the only way you can get uh, the lockdown brackets for that head is if you order the the actual woodland mills trailer it comes with eight brackets they actually swing they go in here replace these washers and those bra brackets actually swing up out of the way so when you're putting the head together they swing out of the way to prevent what they call damage and then once you set the the head on the tracks it doesn't really matter so i'm gonna weld i found uh out in my junk pile some old uh, spring hangers i can't remember if that's from a tractor or one of my car builds anyways clean that one up just going to show you on this so i went in with die grinder on the inside rail got it all cleaned up i'm gonna i'll pin that right there actually i've got a, a half inch pin in there so i'll uh clamp that down and show you what I'm going to do. I've been uh, strapping it down when I move it with tie downs and it's a pain in the ass. So give me a minute. Okay, so I got that clamped down. I left, a, I don't know, a little over an eighth of an inch between that uh, nut and bolt there so I can get it off like I said it's gonna be nothing fancy um, I just have a, a Lincoln weld pack 100 I've had that thing for probably 21 years um, it's just a flux core MIG welder it does what I need around here and I haven't had any issues so let's see if I can get this stupid thing set up, see if I can actually make a weld.
welding in tight spaces is so fun. It's ugly, but it's gonna hold so. Well, I think you get the point. I'll uh, come back after I get this done and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I got a couple of these welded on. As you can see, the trailer's tilted up so the mill's moving on its own. The welds are ugly. I put one on this corner, one on that corner. So, There's one. Two. Not going anywhere. Anyways, I read on a bunch of different forums, guys asking how they're holding their sawmill heads down on homemade trailers. So I guess this is one option. Um, it was simple. Luckily I had some spare metal laying around so it only took me about 30 minutes because the holes were already there. Anyways, if this helps, great. If not, oh well. Carry on and have a good day.